Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you to all the witnesses that have been here. In 2017, the People's Republic of China announced with glee that they were going to be um, giving us $100 million to build a garden in our national uh, park here in Washington, DC. It turns out they wanted to collect intelligence. They wanted to find out what was happening in our nation's capital, and they have been doing this all over the country. As a representative from Nebraska, I represent Offutt Air Force Base, which is home to STRATCOM. We also, as many of you know, have a very close connection to our nuclear triad, and we have sensitive military assets all over the state of Nebraska. And I found out that through a company called Huawei, cell phone companies, some of them owned by American companies, are providing cellular services using Huawei equipment. On top of this, folks in North Dakota and several rural states are raising the red flag about the Chinese government purchasing real estate in the United States. My question is for Mr. Fetto. During your time working at the Treasury, can you speak to how frequently Chinese real estate purchases came under CFIUS review? Was it frequent or infrequent? Thank you very much for the question, Mr. Flood. Uh, we implemented the, the rule. Uh, we had a statutory deadline of February 13th of 2020, and we implemented the regulations which made real estate jurisdiction effective at that time. Real estate filings are uh, voluntary. They're not a mandatory filing, but the committee has the power to pull in filings that it deems uh, deserve scrutiny under its jurisdiction. Oftentimes, uh, real estate transaction jurisdiction overlaps with the normal jurisdiction of the committee, and so it's hard to say w which ones um, might be real estate-related transactions, but the concern about proximity, which you're describing, is something that the committee and its members, especially the, the member agencies, the Justice Department and the FBI in particular, are very concerned about and very alert to. So th that, that piece is, is addressed. Um, there's a list of, of almost 200 military installations and other facilities that are published by the committee that relate to real estate jurisdiction. So to, to the extent, and those are provided by the agencies within the committee that have, have the subject matter expertise to say, this facility is sensitive and should be within the real estate jurisdiction of the committee. And so to the extent there's a, a facility or an installation that's not in there, that's, <clears throat> that's on the committee and its member agencies to dialogue and tweak it so that there's appropriate coverage for something that's sensitive. It seems to me like Congress needs to take this very seriously, maybe make it mandatory that the reporting happened. <clears throat> and as I read the regulations now, you know, in the case of the Chinese garden, that was roughly 2.7 miles away from the U.S. Capitol, four miles away from the White House, yet CFIUS's jurisdiction is defined as one mile from the base. Uh, it seems to me like we could be making some changes in, in the way our statute reads so that we are requiring a better look at some of these concerns. Um, m maybe, I, I would say that that the committee, the full committee, and all the member agencies, including DOD and, and, and those that, that have a, a stake in this issue of proximity and spying and, and collection of intelligence, were all very involved for two years in scoping this out. And, and one concern I would have, and, and as you consider what to do going forward, is to the extent real estate jurisdiction is scoped so broadly it may consume everything that CFIUS does and, and sort of make it limitless. And, and, and I, do, I do appreciate your concern there because I think you, we can draw this in such a way that draws everybody into a circle and we could waste some government resources. Do you feel confident that CFIUS's current review process gives us the um, ability to police what I think a lot of folks in North Dakota and Nebraska and other communities are saying about the CCP's um, efforts in real estate? I do, to the extent it's a national, a clear national security issue related to a, a U.S. business or to an installation or to something that gives gives it a hook. If it's more of a, of a raw real estate transaction, 
That may be another question for an, another authority within the government. The gentleman's time has expired. I yield back.